I have to say, it's amazing the volume of material that you have. I, I don't think if I studied for the LSAT for two years, I'd be able to get through everything. It's, it's really remarkable. I appreciate that. And the nice thing is you don't need yeah. to go through all of it. You don't need to. You can, you, can, you can pick and choose the specific things that you need to focus on. Now that you mentioned it, yeah, I don't think I could watch everything I've created over the past several <laughs> years just in a few months. But yeah, you, know, right. you, you pick and choose the areas you need to focus on. And so if, sure, let's sure. say logical reasoning comes more naturally to you. You don't need to work through every single example problem. Right, right. One, one question I did have, and, and I know you've done a couple of videos on this. Uh, I know that they're doing, they're looking more, everything's going digital now, it appears. And they're considering making everything else at flex in the future. Or is that still up in the air? It's up in the air. It's an open okay. question. At the moment, okay. it's digital LSAT on a tablet in North America and still okay. paper and pencil, everything else. LSAT Flex Online, of course, is the exception to that. Starting this, this spring and then into the summer, they made it flex because they had to. They couldn't do it in person. Sure, and so sure. it's said to be flex for the short term, but they do want to okay. bring it back to in person when they're able to. And so okay. at the moment, June and July are flex. August, they're trying to do in person with social distancing. We'll see if that's possible. If not, okay. It'll be an online flex. And even for those taking the LSAT outside North America, they're doing flex because coronavirus is a global issue, of course. And so Got it. Got it. Are, which t are, we, are you planning to take the LSAT in North America or overseas? Yes, I'm planning to take it in. Uh, I'll be home. Uh, I get back home. Uh, I live in outside Kansas City. I live in Parkville, Missouri. And I'm planning to take uh, the November uh, at UMKC. Nice. Perfect. Yeah, yep. so... Hopefully by then in person will be possible. If not, you'll get to do the flex online, which a lot of people prefer. The only thing I was, I was, I was, logistically, I think it's fine, but looking at the rules, how you can never be out of the camera, I think that would bother me more than anything is I'm stuck in this one position. I can't move. Uh, if I'm out of camera, then they're going to start looking at things. I, I don't know. It just, it seems like to me it would create more, more little uh, mental hurdles. I hear you. Yeah. I mean, they do want you to stay in the field of the camera. You could sure. shift in your seat a little bit. It's just like if you were leaning over to tie your shoe, they'd be like, why are you tying your shoe in the middle of an exam? Like, <laughs> right. what, what are exactly. you doing down there? Like, that's what they'd be thinking exactly. about. And you don't want anyone to like walk into the room while you're doing it. It's at, sure. A lot of this sure. is at the proctor's discretion though. So like if you get a brief interruption, and you're like, honey, I'm in the middle of my exam. Like the proctor will probably understand. But like if right. Let's say if like a college kid, their roommate runs in, it's like, is the answer is B. Like, you don't want that to happen. Like, that would not be good from a test security perspective. Right, right. That would be, that would be something my friends would do. They'd yeah. Like, no, it's not B. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that aside, it's probably typically a smooth experience. And then you don't okay. have to go anywhere. But I could see at least when you're in person, the proctors can see more of what's going on. And so sure, there, sure. you have a little bit more flexibility. You can get up to go to the bathroom in person. It'll cost you right. time though on the clock. And so I would strategize to avoid that, but sure, it, sure. Allow, it has certain liberties that online doesn't. Okay. Yeah. And I'm, I'm kind of used to it because in the, in, in the safety field, like all our certifications, their exams, like the associate safety professional is a five hour exam. Then you have to take that before you take your certified safety professional, which is also a five hour exam. So I'm kind of used to that whole proctoring business, going to a testing center, sitting down and having your scratch paper and, and, and that'll all be fine. But I just didn't want to try to do it in my house. I just feel like that's, I, that wouldn't work for me, I don't think. I hear that. Yeah, I could totally understand that. Uh, but other than that, yeah, I just feel like it's going to take me a little longer to find out where I'm really, really struggling. Everything's still, I feel, diagnostic. I do want to thank you for saying not to take a diagnostic right in the beginning because that made no sense to me. I said, all I'm going to do is get pissed mm -hmm. when I get in. And if I make, you know, a 135, I'm going to be like, why am I even trying? Uh, so I had sort of made the decision. I think I'll wait off on the diagnostic. And then once I got into the course and you recommended it, that, that helped a lot. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah. I think it's better to learn the material first, then test yourself. That, that seems like a smart <laughs> way to do it.
Yeah, everyone's got to learn the same stuff. Yeah, yeah. And also, um, I had considered, because I'm going to stay I, with my military service and, and now my, uh, my civilian government service, I'm planning to stay in the government as my career, even after law school. Um, but I, I, I do appreciate the, the public interest scholarships that you're giving out. I think that's really cool. I thought about applying, but then I was like, you know what? There are a lot of you know, people who are in undergrad just finishing college and probably have a ton of loans for all of that. I have a job, I'm working. It's like, I can afford to take the course. So y'all knock yourselves out, but that's, that's really awesome that you're doing that for them. That's generous of you. Uh, I appreciate it. Yeah, there's a lot of people oh, out yeah. there, a lot of people out there struggling, both college kids with loans and then folks from all walks of life, it turns out. Just watching these videos, it's extraordinary. People's yeah. backgrounds, the work that they do. But yeah, a lot of them could use some support and I'm glad to be in a position to be able to help in the little yeah. ways that I can. Yeah, I, I feel really grateful because I had so many friends who've uh, been out of work. My wife is a professional opera singer, so all her con her contracts got canceled. So mm -hmm. we've sort of gone through that. But again, me being here and being deployed, that means a little extra money for us. So uh, we are in a better position than 99.9% .9 of the people that are that are walking around. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm really lucky to to be where I am. I'm I'm really lucky to have found your your materials. Because so far it's it, it's been eye opening, and I'm uh, uh, I'm glad that I have the time here to to really focus on it. I'm glad to hear it, and I'm glad that things are at least pretty quiet over where you are. I gather, yeah. You, in, in a way, like coronavirus can actually be keeping you safer right now. Exactly, without yeah. a doubt, without a doubt. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of grateful for it, even though it is a little boring here. Yeah, well, I guess in the military, boring boring is good, right? Boring is good. Boring is good. That means nobody's bleeding. Right. <laughs> yeah. The medics can rest easy. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we connected, Matthew. Please keep in touch. And if things come up, feel free to reach out and I'll do what I can I to will. in the right direction. I will without a doubt. And again, uh, thanks for all the materials. And also thanks for, you know, if I do have a question, I've had a couple that I've sent to you. Uh, you get back so promptly. I know it can't be easy with your schedule and with all the other people who are tugging at you. It, it's, uh, it's greatly appreciated. Oh, I'm glad to help. I'm glad to help. Keep in touch. I will. I will. Thanks so much. Of course. Stay safe. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.